so here we have a lot of great information on you know certainly what what is to expect you know we we've got you know the requirements laid out the the a b is established the the certifiers are established we've got c three p o s now being uh you know being approved for for you know for uh for the certification process and, and really we're we're getting genned up for the start you know the the work's been going on for a while but but we're almost to the starting line and and rob i i've got a question for you if if i was a a contractor out there and you know everyone i think would like to believe that they're ready to go they can be certified tomorrow you know we got our stuff in place but but let's say let's go the other side you know let's let's say hey you know what we we don't necessarily think that we're ready um you know what what does it look like what would i be if you were the CISO in that company what what are the things that uh that you know you could tell another CISO, hey hey these are the things that i could be doing right now because this is coming so great question first thing is call red spin <laughs> no it's a yeah, it's a great the call. you know bring in the experts for sure yeah, bring in the that's, experts. that's number one uh and but there's reasons why so you know the way folks can start preparing now is go out and look at the federal acquisition regulation or the FAR clause 52.204-21 again the FAR clause 52.204-21 you know for, especially for those that, that may be looking at this and not even knowing what like 800-171 is um, yeah. I think it's uh, it, it certainly you know does require that you know hey this is this is real it's uh, it's a it's a real requirement it, it's formalized and it's certainly not going to be something in the future that is just a checklist like you are going to have to demonstrate you know you, you are going to have to need you know it is going to require a third party like redspin to be able to come in not only help you either 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 redspin can help or redspin can certify and, and, right. and those are you know those are things uh, that that uh i think are really important and and if anybody out there listening to this um you know needs help with it you know certainly feel free for, you know to to reach out to redspin you know certainly from an education standpoint as as well as a preparation standpoint so tony a lot of things that are happening we're in the final you know few weeks of 2020 which i think everyone is certainly very excited about putting putting 2020 to bed and getting to 2021 i i actually saw a really crazy t-shirt and it said uh, you thought 20 was bad where do you turn 21 and, and it starts drinking so i hope that's uh, i hope that's not the case for for 21 but but looking at knowing that 21 is coming you know what 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 is coming down the pike what what are the next steps in all this you know what are uh, not only what are you doing but 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 where do you think this is going as we enter into 2021 yes exactly um well as a, as a part of the red spin team we're ensuring that we're postured to be ready to ensure that um, we can do the best possible job for the the, uh, the DOD contractors out there, whether they need a pre-assessment, they need a level one certification or level three certification, we're ensuring that we're ready to go on our end. Uh, what I recommend for um, those DOD contractors is, first of all, learn the CMMC model and the standards that that you need to, to adhere to. Um, it's very important that you get that correct. Um, you know, uh, I've I've actually talking to some contractors who believe it's kind of a um, let's start with level one because it's easy first. Well, if you're, if you're processing CUI, period, you got to be a level three. And as you recall uh, in our previous discussion, that um, level three is cumulative. You got to meet level one and two and level three requirements for that. Second, understand your scope. What is in scope within your organization? Um, that's going to make it very difficult if you want to keep your entire corporate enterprise in scope then you're going to have to ensure that you're protecting everything in your environment to that CUI level so it's very important to, to define your scope um, segmenting developing a secure secure enclave is a good idea um, then once you do that do your own self-assessment and, and figure out if you need that self-assessment. Um, I'm, I'm finding out so far that a lot of the contractors are opting to go with the pre-assessment to, to identify gaps. So this is where a registered provider organization, an RPO, can help you. And once, once they give you that, you got they help you with identify your gaps, you can remediate those gaps. Then it's time to find a C3PAO. 
um, to um, actually conduct your formal assessment. So really do your homework and get those things done. And um, you and you need to, if you're one of those 1500 for 2021, um, do what you can to get ready and, and hopefully you, you succeed with your level one or level three certification. Yeah, and if I can also add on, Dave, real quick, um, they can reach out to the cmmc.org website to find a lot of that information. The other thing is, as Tony mentioned, there's only 20 C3 PAOs out there. So don't be fooled when you Google looking for a CMMC certified organization to assist you, and there's a billion out there. There's only 20 that are selected and certified right now, and Red Spin right. is one of them. So make sure you do your homework because you may bring somebody in that says they're CMMC certified, come to find out they're not, and you've spent money and wasted time uh, and got nowhere. That, that's correct. As of right now, there's only 20 C3 PAOs, and the CMMC AB is finding out it takes a little bit longer to, to get these C3 PAOs satisfied, uh, certified. So there's more on the way, but right now, so in 2021, there, the CMMC AB is not going to have all the C3 PAOs that they plan for. So it's going to be um, very, very tight. Uh, so when you schedule your CMMC certification, look at the availability of your C3 PAO. Yeah, no, all all excellent points. And and I really want to, you know, I think there's a couple things that I, I want to take out of this is first and foremost, uh, I'm really glad that uh, I had Tony and, and Rob be able to, you know, educate me and 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 the you know the listening audience on you know what cmmc is and you know certainly what to expect um i want to thank you guys for the opportunity to uh to have this conversation today for sure the other thing that i think it potentially points out is there's just as many still either questions or unknowns that are out there and and I think it'd be really good to, you know, maybe in an upcoming conversation, just really lay out, hey, what, what does a pre-assessment look like? You know, what if if I'm that company out there that um, that says, yep, I've I've got to go through this requirement, um, you know, how can how can Redspin help? So I, I think uh, up and coming, we we should we should outline to the audience, you know, hey, this is this is what a pre-assessment is and, and the type of services that we can do. So thanks so much, guys, for bringing your time and attention to this. I know it's exciting times, you know, uh, Redspin is certainly excited about, you know, being selected as a C3PAO. We're, we're, you know, we've been, we've been um, involved and engaged in this for, for a while and, and, and building out a practice that we're, we're excited to launch and excited that we can provide this service to a, an extremely critical point. So once again, Tony, thank you very much uh, for your time. Rob, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And uh, certainly uh, wishing everyone a, a safe, healthy, and, and happy holiday. Merry Christmas. Thank you.